Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh My name is Nur Hazika Aisha binti Kuzai and I am from 5KK Today, I'm going to explain to all of you, my dear viewers about how can Pascal Principle be applied in a dentist chair What exactly is Pascal Principle? Pascal Principle um, states that when pressure is applied in an enclosed fluid is transmitted equally or uniformly in all directions in the fluid so what is that i'm going to visualize it for all of you so i'm going to explain to all of you uh furthermore about pascal principle using this diagram so here we have two pistons that is connected to each other and uh, this one is uh input pistons and this is output pistons so first um, imagine that uh input pistons is being pushed down so uh, when it is pushed down the water is going somewhere why because water is not compressible it cannot be compressed so when input piston is being pushed down the water must be going somewhere so as we know that pascal principle is where the pressure is transmitted equally throughout the liquid so when uh, the input piston is being pushed down the water level in the input piston is going to be decreased while the water level in output pistons is going to be increases because the water is being pushed down to here so next uh, what you can see in this diagram is the difference between this uh, input piston size and output piston size. Why? So, uh, in order to push down the water, we need pressure. So, let's take a look at the pressure formula, which is F over A. So, in order to increase the pressure, we need to have smaller area because pressure is indirectly, pro inversely, pro I'm sorry, inversely proportional to area. So, we need smaller area to produce greater pressure in order to push down the water. Now that we understand a lot better about Pascal Principle, I'm going to introduce to you how does Pascal Principle is applied in a dentist chair. So when a patient comes in and they sit on the dentist chair and the doctor wants to increase the height of the dentist chair, they're going to step on the pedal. The pedal acts as input uh, input pistons so input pistons as we know input pistons need small area to generate no i'm sorry to produce a greater pressure right so when force is exerted pressure is produced on the liquid surface area so the water that is being pushed down uh is going to transmit equally to large pistons this is large piston the water is going to flow from here to here do you get it now, after that, uh, force is going to be produced. Why? Because water is not compressible at all. So, uh, when the uh, pr uh, produce, uh, I'm sorry, uh, pressure is exerted, it's going to spread uniformly to the output pistons and it's going to increase, to, it's going to push the chair up. So, that's basically how does uh, Pascal Principle is applied in the dentist chair and I hope you enjoyed my video. Thank you.